You know who my next guest is? Renato Moicano, who uh, is coming off a win at Lightweight over Demir Hazovic back in February. Renato, how are you, man? How are you, my friend? I'm fine. And you? I'm doing well. Thank you so much for taking the time here on a Sunday. Uh, I know uh, a little while back, the last time I remember hearing anything about you was I know you offered to step up and fight uh, Zabit Magomed Sharapov when Yair Rodriguez was out. Was that ever close to happening or, or were there ever any talk? No, no. No, no, no. UFC said he didn't want to take, you know. He, he, and ha, as he say, he won like a uh, ranking opponents. And right now, I'm not on the ranking. So uh, I thought like uh, it would be a good opportunity for me. But I, I, I know uh, I, I had like a, li- a very little chance to to this happen. You know, it was just to draw attention. You know? No, of course. And it's smart, right? You got to get your name out there, especially when you don't have a, a fight booked. Um, when were you looking to fight? Uh, that win, like I said, was back in February. I know we've been dealing with COVID-19 and everything else, but when when ideally uh, would you have liked to have fought? Because, you know, we're coming up to, you know, September here. Yeah, you know, my last fight was, I think, 40 seconds. So I, I didn't have injury. I was good to go. And I'm asking for UFC for a fight for a long, long, long time. Will be uh, had uh, I had I had asking for a fight for several months, but I think they're gonna they gonna find someone to 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 do a fight. Okay, and 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 I, I think one of the questions is what weight class do you want to compete in? You look great at lightweight. Um, I know you fought primarily in the UFC at, at one forty five. Where where would you like to fight next as far as a weight class? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I because I was ranking number seven. And they cut me off the rankings. So right now, I don't see the point to going back to 145. Uh, uh, I just come back to 145 to fight top five guys. If they offer me like a top five guys, I would be interested to to fight like Ortega, uh, Zambi, uh, or Zabit, Yai Rodriguez, the top five guys. But... To, to go and do and like fight unranking guys or top 15 I don't wanna I don't wanna do that you know because I, I feel I feel I felt really comfortable the way cut was easier to me 155 and I think I can perform well but you know I I, I get I get I didn't like to the way they removed me from the rankings but I have no control about this you know and that's okay I gonna I'm going to start to build up my way to the top in the 155. You have a win over Calvin Cater. I think a lot of people forget that. And Cater is one of the, the top ranked featherweights. So, uh, you know, hopefully people still remember that win because that was a pretty decisive win for you. I think it might have been one of the biggest ones you've had in your career. And, and people and people don't remember. It was not even a close fight. I don't want to disrespect him. You know, I know I don't want to disrespect him because I, I know he's a really good fighter. But if you if you see that fight, I, I won like clearly the three rounds like without doubt you know uh, in his in, in like in new york he's from boston so and, and was the same i was ranking guy he was coming up and they put me against him and that's is this is no problem this is the way i i they i'm used to that so there is no problem man. but i see if you if you didn't watch this fight uh try to to watch and see like i dominate him you know he's a good fighter but I know I'm better. Yeah, get educated, as they say. Um, I talked about COVID-19. How has it impacted your training? I know with the American top team, Dan Lambert's done an outstanding job of getting you guys tested, keeping you guys separate. So how has training been with all that, the safety precautions put in? Yeah, uh, like uh, we had like in the beginning really small groups, but right now we're, we, they are in tests. So every week we're going to be tested. So I think this is really good. And you have like right now a pretty, pretty much like normal life in APT. You know, everybody's tested. Everybody who is good to go, go to the gym and training. And the people who got 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 sick, they send them home and they have to wait until the COVID is done, like until the symptoms and until they they test like uh, free for COVID and they come back. But the gym is is really good right now. Yeah. You, you never got uh, infected with COVID, did you? Because I know some fighters did. 
Yeah, no, 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 I'm not. Good, good to hear you're best. healthy. That that's important because yeah, I know yeah, uh, for some it, it's it's, uh, it's it's too bad because I know Florida obviously is a is a hotbed for that. Um, and, and by the sounds of it, you never really missed any training with COVID. Like I know for some fighters, they couldn't go to their gym, but it seemed like American Top Team was open the entire time for fighters like yourself. Yeah, yeah, we didn't have that. We haven't had that problem in the beginning. Like uh, I fought like uh, in March during so in COVID. Yeah, exactly. Pre COVID, yeah, and I was not allowed to go to the gym but since they figured out how to do this without like uh uh without mm, without yeah without without problem you know since they figured out how to do with precaution and uh, and keep everybody safe uh, i was allowed to come back to training get test and uh, right now i have trained i have been training in uh, uh, a while, you know, I have been training in a couple months to, to get a fight and I'm trying to book a fight. Excellent. Um, when, when ideally would you like to get back in there? Is there a card you're looking at that you'd like to get on? Is there a specific date when you want to get back in there and, and return? No, I'm waiting for the UFC, whatever they, they decide I'm going to, I'm going to go, I'm going to do. For sure. Yeah, no, obviously it's up to them, but I mean, like, uh, if, if you could pick when you would want to fight, when would that be? Because, uh, you know, I know for some fighters, they like, you know, like an eight week camp. Is there sort of like an ideal time that you would like to fight? No, no, I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready. You're ready whenever. Okay. You know? Yeah. Yeah. I'm ready. Whenever they call, I'm going to answer the, the call and I'm going to do what I had to do, which is perform well for them. And I'm, I'm ready to step up and, and, and take, take uh, whatever they want. Would you take a short notice fight if they offered it to you? Yeah, yeah, of okay. course, you know. That's why I wanted to move to 155 too, because... Uh, you don't have like, to cut the uh, extra weight. Yeah, it's a lot easier. Yeah, and, and it's not, it's not all, it's not, it's not just cut the, the extra weight. It is uh, allowed to, to get short notice fights because my first fight in UFC, I, get, I got in two week notes one week notes or two week notes, notes like uh, really, really close. And right now, I'm I'm getting older, you know. I'm much, much, much uh, heavier than the, in the beginning of my career. So I could not like uh, step up in a two week notice. So in the, in the 55, I want to be able to get advantage of of every opportunity I have. So that's why that's one of the reasons I, I I jump up to the lightweight. Is there any opponents you're looking at at 155 that you think would be a good fight for you? Yeah, yeah. You know, since I uh, I I always have been trying to 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 fight the best, and in the 145 I did like uh, I, I I fought the best in, in in 145, and I want to fight the best in 155. You know, so. I was expecting to face a, a, a ranked guy, you know, but I know the division is 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 like uh, it's too too crowd, you know. I don't know how the, I don't know I don't I don't know how to say that, but there is a lot of good people in the in the division, and I don't know if they want to, you know, fight me because because I'm not ranking anymore and they, and they can use that excuse, you know, ah, the guy's not ranking, but everybody know I'm at a fight for them. So, uh, so I think in the top of my head, a guy who is not ranking, but he's a really good guy. I thought about uh, Anthony Pettis. I think it's a good fight. If he come back to the lightweight, I don't know if he's gonna come back to the lightweight, but I think he, he should do it. And uh, if he want, I'm ready to face him. That would be a great fight. How do you think you would match up against Pettis? That's a really interesting matchup. Yeah, I don't know. He's a really good. He is a former champion. I have all the the respect for him, you know, uh, because he's a he was a great champion. He's a, a great stand up guy. But I think I could like uh, I could I could I could do very well against him. You know, he's coming from a a, a win a, a win a win against Ceron in a very close fight. So I think he he has to fight somebody, you know, who gonna who gonna give him trouble and I think these guys will be me. How's fatherhood been treating you lately? I hear uh, your your baby in the background. How's how's that going? Yeah, 
very good, you know. This is like, uh, I didn't realize how much like important is to, to, to become a father, you know. Right now I'm seeing like, uh, uh, change me, you know, it really change me in a way I approach my life, in the way I thinking about about what I have to do, what I have to accomplish, what is my mission, what, and, and, and right now, uh, my son Isaac, he's giving me all of that, you know, all, all of um, trying to be better every day, trying to, to teach him what I have to do, what he has to do to be a good person, to be a good citizen, to be a, you know, a good son. And, and, and that's what pushing me to be better every day. And we're looking forward to your next fight, whenever that may be. Renato, thank you so much for the time today. It was great catching up with you. and glad to hear everything's going well from you know training to fatherhood to everything else. Uh, in the meantime, uh, if you have anyone you want to thank, any sponsors, or if there's any social media you want to plug, the floor is yours, sir. Yeah, thank you so much. I want to, to say my social media is Renato Moicano. You can search all the internet, like Instagram and everything. Uh, and thank you so much for the people who don't know me. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be like the best at the 155. You can count on that. You know, I'm saying to you guys, uh, when I'm gonna fight, tune in, and, and you're gonna see a, a completely different fighter. Every fight is gonna be different, and you, you guys are gonna see me on top. So try to follow now, not, 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 not later. <laughs>